Hi, everybody. Hello there. If you just followed us, we came up from our neighborhood to Sumter Landing. Did a little, just kind of a State of the Union type of cruise up here <laughs> to find out what people are doing and uh, how they're social distancing. And we've ended that tour right here at the uh, sales office in Sumter Landing. Uh, right across the street is a beautiful neighborhood. It's old school. You're yeah. not going to find the concrete and stucco. You can see more uh, the siding homes, the lap siding. Yes. Uh, they're very pretty. What would that uh, that gal down in Texas, what's her name? Chip and uh, Joanna? Chip and Joanna. What, what do they call that stuff? Ship, ship lap. lap. Ship lap. <laughs> You're going to find some ship lap up here. And uh, they're cute. They're quaint. Uh, I don't know what they're called. I don't think they're... I don't know, Mine's craftsmen, but they look yeah. almost like craftsmen. Craftsmen, they so, look like Cape Cod type things. Well, you can I, judge from yourself. We're going to go slowly through there and, and let you check it out, and uh, hope you like it. We do. Yeah. Hello. Hi, that's a great idea. Oh, thanks. Okay, we're approaching, and uh, it has an entrance just like every other neighborhood. A little smaller, a little quainter. What are you pointing at? So you can touch the button. Gonna push the button now. Linda has just pointed out that I need to use some sort of utensil. Just trying to raise the gate. Can't get. I'm in the golf cart. Thank you. Well, we had to actually call for help. The gate wouldn't raise with the push of a button. I like these homes because sometimes they have little uh, names for each of the homes. That one was called Serendipity. The Coquina. Harvest Moon. The Wasagon. Fair Winds. Very, very pretty homes. Yes. This one has a one car garage with a golf cart garage. Two car garage here. The sandpiper, the lantern. Nicely landscaped. I have no idea what these sell for, but I'm imagining that they are expensive because of location. And they're right next to Lake Sumter. It's right behind these houses right here. This one's called the Water's Edge. This one's actually two-story. People getting a food delivery. Yeah, a few of these homes are two stories. You don't see that in the villages. It's a very small neighborhood. You can see it dead end here. We just passed two dachshunds. Those must be awesome people. <laughs> Here's uh, the pool and postal station. Nobody here. Pool's closed. Sometimes uh, 
the villages gets labeled as a community that has identical homes, monopoly houses. Well, in here, that's certainly not the case. These are these are all one of a kinds. I don't know if that's true because these two look very similar now that I look at it. But yeah, they're and we're looking at Linda likes to go by the wiener dogs, so we took another trip back to see them. Gizmo There's parked the lake up. right between those homes. You can see Lake Sumter. Sorry. Oh, that's a beautiful tree right here. That gorgeous, that, that, that orange, that little electric car. Too cute. Look how they parked that. It's quite big. Nice large home with a beautiful landscaping. Robolini. You can see through the uh, trees there. That is Morse Boulevard back through there, but you can see part of the other side of Lake Sumter right there. Neat the way they do name the homes, like you said, Linda. That's a blue jay right there. Very quaint. I would think that when these homes come up for sale, they don't last too long. No, they're they're uh, very different from the rest of the villages. I, I really like them. Well, that's it. We've made the loop around. We've come to our third passing of the Dachshund family. <laughs> so uh, we're going to head left and get out of here. You can see straight across the road there. That's the uh, sales center once again. I'm noticing a lot of face masks today. I need one. <laughs> Cover that all up. <laughs> I look better with a face mask on. Yes, you do. <laughs> Hope you like that little tour of the Lakeshore Cottages. We like it. I don't think I'd want to live there, though. It's really close to Sumter Landing. It's beautiful. Not much yard. We don't have much yard either. I don't know. It's for a special kind of uh, living, I guess. Uh, I, I love it. <laughs> yeah. I think it's really pretty. Uh, I, I especially like it. I'm wondering if people can rent there, if it's a rental place, too. I don't think so. I don't know. We should ask our realtor. You can actually rent your home out no matter where you live in the villages. So I guess that's going to wrap it up for our tour of Lakeshore Cottages. Until next time. We'll see you when you get here.